Just another tank update here on the 65 Reef. Made some changes. So this time around, I about a week ago, I switched over to Alpha Reef from, I've been using Fritz two-part. And this is a powder that basically, um, it's kind of like a one-part method. You mix it up. Um, and then you dose it um, just in one shot. Or you can, I guess you technically can split it up. Um, so I've been dosing um, originally, I think I was dosing about 60 milliliters of two part a day. And, and you know, I never really knew if that was the right amount. It just kind of worked into it and I was keeping things stable. Um, I have now, after a few days of some alkalinity swings, and that is one downside. It was hard to know exactly what to dose with to keep it stable based on my consumption. Um, I landed on dosing, I think I'm up to 30 milliliters right now a day of all for reef and I'm dosing it and, um, right at the evening, like right as soon as the light cycle starts to kind of dim, um, because I've noticed that that's when the Alks really starts to drop in my tank. Um, so I'm trying to just figure out a way to keep it steady. I'm a little bit nervous because that swing, you know, they say if you have an elk swing, it can hit in two weeks is about when you'll start to see it. <clears throat> At least I've read that. I don't know. I've also noticed before a lot quicker than that, but a little bit of damage to the um, lepto. Hard to say if that's going to get worse and worse or just start to heal. Um, but aside from that, the last time I did the tank update, I had a colt coral in the back. I always love having colts. Um, he started melting on me. Uh, he had been looking really good, and I think what had happened was that he, I had a heater that might have been malfunctioning a little bit. So I replaced it just to be safe. Um, and then I had an opening in that spot, so I brought back up uh, my Duncan colony from my Nano. And I was actually a little horrified to see a couple of heads died out. Um, there's a chance that's because of lighting, but it's also a chance I had a peppermint shrimp in that tank. Um, I'm hoping that he was eating at it, but I actually, I think it, it was just not enough light. So he may come back. We'll see. Um, moved a few of the acros around a little, like this strawberry shortcake or whatever it is in the back. Um, he was not there before, and I cleaned up some of the zinnia. But I will say, <clears throat> right now, with the all for reef, every, it's the first time that I've actually like been able to say that no matter what type of coral species it is, whether it's a zoa or um, euphilia, um, you know, the hammers and um, frog spawn that I have, the SPS is showing signs of growth. Everything seems to be like really happy at the moment. <laughs> even with a little bit of swing in Alpine. I'm particularly happy with how the zoas are doing. And of course I'm getting some white tips on that bird's nest, so there's some growth. That zoa colony in Miami Vice is doing real well. So really at this point I'm just going to try to get things stable in this tank. I'm probably going to try to get um, to sell off this um, a can just because they're very aggressive and I obviously have running out of room I have cut um, them apart with a Dremel tool in the past with a diamond um, edged blade but it's difficult it's not a fun process I had to use iodine and you know make sure that the tissue was healthy and it worked the last time I did it was a few years ago it was about the same size and cut them down real real small um, sold all the frags off which was nice but 
I just don't know if I have it in me. So I might be getting rid of him, but um, what else have I done? Uh, soaked some of my stuff in vinegar. The MP40, I know some people say don't use vinegar. I just buy new wet sides when I need them. I mean, uh, I moved the frag rack back there to be out of the way. And the frags are all doing pretty good right now. So, yeah, everything's good. Um, I do feel bad to say that I had six of these chromas. I got from a guy who was doing a tank breakdown, and I am down to two because I realized that my salinity um, calibration was once again off, and I really, really battle with that. Even with multiple testers, I still seem to struggle with even on the uh, refractometers, just either I read them wrong or something. So I was running. I think down around like 33 PPT salinity, just way too low. Um, these guys are doing good. Most of the Zoas are, there's some that aren't. Um, and then the uh, Christmas worm rock is doing real well. It's hard to see under the blues, but a couple of random pallies attached to them. You can see the worms popping out. So yeah, the tank is doing great. I'm very pleased on this all for reef journey. So far, so good. Um, hopefully the next video I don't have a bunch of stuff dead. Um, but I've been doing this long enough to know that is inevitable. So for now, that's it. Brian signing out. Thanks for watching.